Uh, caffeine patches are actually a thing. I know, but I don't think they were when that movie was supposed to take place. Uh, well, no. Uh, caffeine patches are based. They're basically the exact same as nicotine patches, only they're not addictive. Well, I mean, they seem pretty addictive in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on if you're addicted to coffee or you're not. It lets you stay awake for days with no side effects. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was so good. It was. Surprisingly, I only saw it all the way through two months ago. Huh. Like, I, wa I had originally just watched parts of it, but then my stepbrothers were watching TV, and the end of it was on, and I ended up watching the rest of it with them. Hmm. I think that it's on Netflix right now. Uh, also, that was definitely the best line for that intersection. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Right through the middle of everything. <laughs> oh, like... Also, between playing with you constantly and watching Trail Race a lot more than I used to, I've started following racing lines in my car in real life when there's no one around. Do you want to know something funny? I do that all the time, but usually it's because I'm in my truck. I started doing it when I was in my truck because my truck was... It's, a, it's, an, old, it's an old pickup truck and whatnot, but... I have it slightly higher than it is from stock, so it likes to body roll a lot. So I was always like, yep, racing line, straightest, straightest way through the corner. Yeah, see, that, that uh, oh, Jesus, that was quite the yeah. curb. There was a sign and a curb there. No, it was the curb. The, my wheel just hit the curb and my truck went the other way. <laughs> no, no, I know, but there was also like one of those little white sign things. There, the there was a sign, but I wasn't worried about that. But yeah, no, I... No, I tend to do it more when I'm in my mom's truck, because, basically, I run the same route back and forth every day between school and home. Um, right. And my mom's SUV, because I drive a car right now, she drives a car right now, my dad's in this big truck all the time, the truck doesn't get moved that often. So, I try right. to take it on my early release days to pick my brother once every week, just to keep some right. stuff flowing and everything, make sure it doesn't just sit there and go bad. Oh, no, I, no, trust me, I know, that's why I really need to get back out to my truck where it's sitting in a garage, because I haven't started it in nearly two weeks. Yeah, so I try to take the truck out at least once every week. Um, and I've gotten used to the braking distances in my car. And whenever I'm driving that truck, I'll be coming into a corner and be like, okay, I'm going way too fast, and I'm taking the racing line around the corner. <laughs> oh, Christ. Yeah, it's, it's just, one of my you gifts. You lag back and I nearly wham you. <laughs> It's one of my gifts. I have this sense that I can I can just tell when I'm going too fast into a corner. I think it comes from playing this game too much. <laughs> no, I, I, I have it too. Like, I'll just look down. Oh, I am going way too fast for this. Well, no, I don't even... It's it's just a sense. I don't need to look at the speedometer. I can just tell that if I keep going this speed, I'm going to flip over. Because <laughs> I've started doing it in the game, too. Do me good. Yeah, I was about to say, it's gotten me in trouble in the game before. Bye. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going over to the uh, chemical plant and get something fun and dangerous. Hmm, I might come and join you. Um, but no, I actually don't want to get a load going because it sucks. Um, actually, you have the Roswell garage, right? Yes. Okay, then we might TP to Roswell temporarily so I don't have to keep switching trucks and then teleporting back to uh, Vegas. Alright. Oh, you don't have the Vegas garage? I have the Vegas garage, but my main garage is Roswell. Oh. Uh, and you know, it automatically teleports you back to the base, back to your base garage when you switch trucks. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh. Get right my load. We got entirely and completely off topic, but talking about this country earlier, um, now that I'm actually able to... That's what we were talking about? <laughs> at some point. <laughs> now that I'm actually talking to you, what do you think of Army of Two so far? Like, more than I like just, it. I like the idea. I, I really do. I really do think that it's working out very well. What What do you think of the characters? Like how they're like how they act. Just everything. Or the you know the two original characters. What do you think about? Birdbrain is based uh, uh, very loosely on Mario, by the way. Right. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. <laughs> oh, I, I I could tell immediately. I was just like, okay, I see who you are. <laughs> And the funny thing is, I didn't even know that at first. I was just writing him out. I looked back, I was like, Mario! Uh, oh, it's Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> anyway. Mario. Sorry to interrupt your thoughts. Uh, I, I think it's coming out very well. 
I, I think you have a uh, good process for it set up. Okay, now let me talk you through a dirt real quick. Okay. Because what happened here is, um, you know I like deer. Obviously. So. I shoot them. <laughs> thanks for that. No, I. Sorry, I, I'm a deer hunter. I actually I don't have a problem with deer hunting. I have a problem with fox hunting. I do not have a problem with deer hunting. I don't fox hunt. Cause, let me explain this real quick. Cause this is actually something I was thinking about the other day. Um, I'm in Roswell. Whenever you get over here. Oh okay. Uh, the thing with deer hunting as a sport is it has its roots in hunting for survival. Fox hunting. Well, people I mean... don't eat foxes. Like, yeah. I don't see the point in fox hunting, but deer hunting, it's just, it's a sport, like, so I'm okay with it. Because, uh, oh, that's right, fuck. Oh, I'm really upset now. Why? I, I grabbed the trailer, and I was just gonna go TP over to Roswell, but I can't TP <laughs> with the trailer. Don't worry, I think there might be a camp plant over here somewhere, too. I mean, there's Roswell. I have, the re I have the really long, dangerous, corrosive trailer. It's got four axles on it. This thing would have been so much fun to tow around and pretend that I just covered half the city in acid because of the leak. Yeah, there's an acid place in our oh, team. You can get another one, don't worry. Oh, it's hydrochloric acid. That would have been even better. <laughs> can I continue my talkage now? No. <laughs> Shut up with your effing words. <laughs> I wish you could see my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay, I'm coming. Alright, so... Another thing is, you know, you? just obviously I love roleplaying. Um, right. So, in my Zootopia roleplay, I have Talonger, obviously. Um, Cal's best friend is a deer. He's actually a, right. rain, he's a reindeer. Um, he's the one that owns that Dark Blue Peterbilt that's up here. Right. 351? Or 359, sorry. Uh, so, basically, how a Dura came about is, in real life, over Christmas break every year, I go up to visit my aunt in Maryland. Right. And we go and do stuff, usually in D.C., because she's a short train ride from D.C., and my brother and I, I like riding the train. <laughs> right, obviously. Yeah. So, we tend to take the train to wherever, and a lot of the time it's D.C. Uh, right. It's really cool to be so close to the capital, by the way. <laughs> um, so we went to the Natural History Museum, and I really wanted to stuff deer because I realized that I don't have any stuffed deer. Like I don't have reindeer, I don't have regular, I don't don't have any deer, and I love deer, so it's like, why do I not have any deer? Right. Um, so I had my heart set on finding a stuffed deer in the gift shop, and actually, let me go get her real quick. She is the cutest little thing. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Rusty. Yeah. <laughs> Is that in the backyard? If you could hear that noise, that was me losing my balance. No, I'm laughing because Rusty just popped in at the absolute perfect moment. Did he now? Yes, you said let me go get it. And you were talking about your stuffed deer. He got up and he goes, a stuffed deer. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, bits and pieces is all I ever hear from you. <laughs> Your mic tends to cut out. No, but I'm like, you know, like, two feet away from it, too. Oh, Christ. That doesn't tend to help. So. Oh, Christ. <laughs> it was just funny, because I'm staying here, you get up, and then all of a sudden, just randomly, a stuffed deer. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I sent you a text. So, I got her. And uh -huh. my brother got a stuffed zebra because he's obsessed with zebras. Right, obviously. Where are you going? To go get a load. I'm showing you trucks. Well, I'll be showing you trucks. I was in a looking second. at your truck. Okay, well, I have more to show you. <laughs> anyway, um. Well, finish your story. <laughs> yeah. So I got her, and I was trying to think of a name, and my brother and I just kept saying a zebra and a dirt. Because <laughs> that's what we had. <laughs> a so, zebra and a dirt. <laughs> yeah, so then. He ends up naming his zebra Zentra. He likes giving his zebras names that start with Z. Right. Which I think doesn't. And, and you name. just and you just so, left it as a dirt. <laughs> no, no, because then it was Zentra and a dirt. 
<laughs> because I hadn't thought of a name for mine yet. So then I was just like, after saying it enough times, I was just like, okay, her name's a girl. <laughs> like, obviously. So um, it's fun. It's funny I'm, not, I'm not done that, yet. I'm not done yet. Stop talking. I... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, her, the original Adur's name is spelled A-D-T apostrophe R. Right. Uh, for the equestrian version, I made it an acronym. Right. Uh, so, do you mind? No. I'll talk. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Scout. <laughs> if you were from where I was from, you'd be fucking dead. <laughs> I was actually thinking of uh, Meet the Amazing Erasmus. Do you, do you watch Timations? Yes, uh, meet the amazing Marathus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not have ammo? <laughs> no! We no. got tons of ammo! <laughs> the door blows up. Alright, Dante, we don't have any ammo! <laughs> <laughs> I love that line so much. Today, you you made me lose my train of thought. Just, just say what you were saying. I was gonna say, so, I didn't know how you had pronounced it. So there was a story that I had run, run about read once upon a time where there was a griffin. Uh, was it griffin? Yeah, it was a griffin, and the way they had it working was that was a high up griffin. It was a high up griffin in like uh, what the what? Okay, never mind. Um, it was a high up griffin in like uh, society and whatnot. Like a prince right, or right. whatever it was. Um, so uh, they had a snake for a tail, and the snake could talk. So weird. Um, so it was like part manticore. Kinda. <laughs> um, but the way that it worked, the way the way that the names worked, was the first part of the name would be the griffin's name, and then the second part would be the snake's name. So they always had a two piece name, mm -hmm. and the one that you followed. Ironically, was named Kill Deer Adder. <laughs> so, so any time, so any time the uh, snake was talking, it would be the name Adder. So I remembered seeing your thing and went, "Oh, it's Adder, not a deer." <laughs> That's yeah, because it came from a deer, a dir. Uh, or a dir, yeah. Uh, that is my trailer, good sir. Let me have my trailer. That that's also like in that one spot I put said dir. That was to yeah, help with the pronunciation. It. Yes, I did see that. I was like, why did he put D-E-R? I, I was confused, and then I, and now I realize. Yeah. I realize now. And also, the yeah. way... Because that's part, also part of why I made an acronym. So you could... Because then we, in the writing, you can see how it's pronounced better. Yeah. Because uh, A-D-E-R, uh, der. Uh... Zebra and a dirt. <laughs> That's going to be in my head for the rest of the night now. Zentra and the dirt. We were doing that the whole train back to my aunt's house. <laughs> we were just sitting next to each other. Zentra and the dirt. Zentra and the dirt. I'll tell you, well, part of the reason I was... I don't know why my brother was doing it. But part of the reason I was doing it is because I'm bad with names, and that helped me remember the names. What the... Let me hook up to my trailer. <laughs> Are you having issues? Yes, I am. There we go. Hello! I didn't say hello, I said there we go, but okay, you do you. Oh, it sounded like, uh, in, uh, 5 a.m. at Thready- at- at Thready's? 5 a.m. at Thready's, uh, the, the sequel. Oh, yeah, yeah, Foxy. Yeah. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Night court! I'm gonna kick your <laughs> See, it's funny, though, because I always- to me, it always sounded like you said, "I'm gonna get your ass." Like I'm I know, I knew, he, I knew he didn't say that, but that's what it sounded like. All oh, right. And then in the sequel, uh, it always sounded to me like Springtrap said, "Your face will look like a mashed potatoes." <laughs> <laughs> when I'm done with you, your face will look like a mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's what I always heard. <laughs> I, I I did I have heard that once or twice. I still remember. Uh, 
Get crowbarred, bitch. Thanks, Freddy. <laughs> or thanks, Foxy. What the hell, Foxy? I don't know. I'm bored. <laughs> okay, so who's your favorite animatronic since we're talking about Final Fantasy uh, if we're talking about that animatic, it's definitely funny. No, no, I just mean Five Nights at Freddy's in general. Who's your favorite animatronic? Uh, that would probably be Foxy. Same. Okay, so wait, our favorite animatronic is the same. And did you ever notice, because I thought this was funny, that Foxy's my favorite animatronic, Rainbow's my favorite pony, and in Five Nights at Pinky's, Rainbow is Foxy. Huh. You never thought of that? No, I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> I caught on to that almost immediately. I was like, what are the odds? You, you were just a very happy child. I was a very happy child. Or a very happy changeling, as I tend to say. Yes. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, Roswell. And thank you, Rusty. That, that I really needed that for my self-esteem today. <laughs> what? I actually can't yeah. hear Rusty at all. He said, where are you girls at? Oh. What do you mean you can't hear me? The mic is slowly in my Oh mouth. my... <laughs> Just... <laughs> my mic is in my mouth. My mic is in my mouth. Oh, my mic oh, tastes God. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I have a boom mic, so it doesn't really fit in my mouth. <laughs> oh my God, that's right. <laughs> But yeah, just listening to Rusty, my impression of him in, uh, oh, whichever one it was, New Truck, New Driver. Oh, it's yeah. so good. <laughs> oh, man. I amused Wait, myself. What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused myself right now. I am good. truly confused. That was good. the plan, quite a little bit. <laughs> All right, where are you guys heading? Uh, uh, nowhere right I have now. No idea. He, he's just trying to show off trucks. And I, yeah, uh, if you'd ever get back here. I'm right here. Oh, hi, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Rusty. I'm right, he I'm right here with a massive trailer. Okay, so if you go back and look at the picture of Lizard Tail's truck. Yes, no, I, I remember it pretty well. That is. His seems like it was more like a midnight purple black no his is, black. actually it is a little bit purple but i wasn't being that bothered with changing colors fair enough but yeah how awesome does this flame job look along the fuel tanks like that that is actually pretty slick like it doesn't match the truck because his is up along the side of the hood and everything but it looks so cool that i just kept it. it 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 does look pretty slick i'll give it that i'll tell you what cam you're a pretty handsome dude over here uh I said you're a pretty <laughs> handsome dude. <laughs> no, no, I said ah, cause I, I said ah, cause I nearly hit the freaking. Oh, all right. Let me, uh, show you. Well, if you don't really remember the game, you're not gonna get the rest of the trucks very well. I never. Well, yeah, I wasn't gonna say I never played it. I nearly said I never played it. I haven't played it in a very long time. Yeah. So. I still remember it. Remember all the trucks. Yeah, the, uh... Ru Rusty, you'll get it. I'll show you all the player trucks. I'm not going to show you all of them. Because there, are, there are nine trucks. <laughs> Let me show... Yeah. Um, Bronco's already seen this one. I'm going to show you uh, my asphalt cowboy truck. I was, I was about to say. I've seen that. Why are you showing me this? Is Ru Rusty still here, right? Uh, yeah, he was. Console. Where are you guys at? We're at the shop. Yeah, we're at the garage. I was literally pulling in when you spawned in. I'm surprised you didn't see me. I'm in a massive black and blue truck hauling a really big chemical trailer. I mean, black and blue in the early morning isn't the easiest thing to see. But At the same time, neither is black and orange. <laughs> so. but, a massive, but a massive 60 foot long chemical trailer, I believe, would stand out a bit. I see no one else here except a, uh, a wild, wild wing. That's all I see here. Are you sure you're not I on the Europe one? server? Yeah, are you I'm on the on... Europe server? No, I'm on US because I'll play on the US server. Okay, well, we're literally both sitting at the garage in Roswell. I, I saw you spawn in. Yeah. At the garage? I'm at the service. Okay, oh, we're, no, we're at the garage. Uh, yeah, no, we're at the garage. I was uh, like, um, I don't see you here. I'm at the service. Uh, is that like, oh, you can't see other trucks. 
you can't see other trucks spawn in when you're in the freaking dev cam. Oh, boo. Ah, uh, you can if they're close enough. Well, yeah, if they're close, en close enough to the camera or close enough to your truck. Close enough to your truck. Exactly. Well, I mean, imagine if you could, because that would mean that every truck on the server was always spawned in for you, and your frame rate would be atrocious. My frame rate would be fine. So you're okay on the Calais Duisburg Road and the TS2? The what road? Oh, uh, I've never taken that road, actually. You've never taken that road? Well, I know no, what we're doing tomorrow. Because <laughs> I, I never knew what road it was. I could never figure... Like, I I knew that was some crazy road and whatnot. Oh, what, did I you only never... ever see it as CD road? Huh? Did you only ever see it as CD road? Yeah. Oh. Because, so I mean, I got... like, I, I always call it Calais Duisburg Road, and it's kind of awesome. <laughs> well, I just never knew what it... I, I'd seen, like, videos of the road and whatnot. I had just never, like, actually driven on it. I could never figure out where it actually was. I actually haven't been on that road since I uh, changed my RAM sticks, so I'd like to see if my frame rate's any better. <laughs> Alright, so mm. this is my asphalt cowboy truck. It's you mean... a off, but I mean, it's, it's there. I, mean, I see the resemblance. Yeah, and you see I went for the upgraded muffler, as the game yeah. calls it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Wait, the guy's handle is asphalt cowboy? No, his, yeah. no, his handle is sex is hot. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, that's right. I was he, about to say, because you, you keep saying Asphalt Cowboys, and I'm like, that's my series, dude, you're saying the wrong thing. It's kind of funny, though, because he's the only character that his, what he's called in his handle are two different things. Oh, I'm wrong, I didn't make two trucks, because I couldn't make, I couldn't make Cap Truck, because it's a cab over. Well, yeah, without a mind. Yeah, the Peterbilt, um, it was the no, it's a 62. No, it's not. It's a Kenworth K1. It is exactly a K1 aerodyne. It has a 362 grill, but that's about it. Well, I guess that's what I threw me off with the grill, I guess. I mean, I've always seen it be a Peterbilt, so I mean... <laughs> if you look at the sleeper, I don't know how you can't see Kenworth. Uh, Bronco, go look up Highway Cat, uh, 18-wheeler. So you can see what we're talking about. Okay, so this is Streamline. Yeah, the hippie seventy guy with the giant. Yeah, the disco guy. guy. The black, the black guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, this is him. What do you think? It's not bad. I mean, it's it's definitely there. I mean, I mean, his truck was a Mac, but other than that. <laughs> yeah, it was not a Pinnacle. It was a. Um, no, it was a. Uh, sh a Vision. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of us could remember it. <laughs> and then. I gotta say, probably my least favorite one, both in the game and that I made, is, uh, Longhorn. Yeah, the Outback-style Bullhorn truck was, was, I mean, I played Game Through with them just, you know, just to, you know... Yeah, I, play, I played the Game Through with all five of them. Yeah, I did too, and it's just like, I just, I don't... No, I, I didn't. The least. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a K1, isn't it? Oh no, I wasn't looking at that. I was trying to figure out why you kept saying Asphalt Cowboy, and now I was, I was watching through the intro of 18 Wheeler, and I see that's on the back of his tanker. Now I get it. Yeah, so this is Longhorn. Yeah. I mean, Longhorn. Yeah. <laughs> that time I was talking about your series, Bronco. <laughs> yeah. Get it right. <laughs> nice. I think, honestly, the reason I really didn't like Longhorn's truck is because the headlights were on the bumper bar. What his dialogue, too, just felt just, you know, just like, last second rush, too. Yeah, sorta. Of. Would stop moving so I can go in the menu. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, I'm hopping in midnight. I haven't driven turn over a while. What a, oh, what about that one truck, the secret truck you get, um, oh, what was that, that horn truck you get? Yeah, free horn um, Madeira, or something like that. That the Mitsubishi looking stupid truck that has the giant chrome things. Yeah, it's up. a Mitsubishi Fusion. Yeah, it's gay as shit in my opinion, but I mean. Well, I mean that's just what the trucks over there look like. 
Yeah, I know, but I mean, his as a character, he was good, but I just I don't like that style of truck. It just it makes no sense to me. I actually do yeah. like Fuzos if they're modified the right way, but I didn't like his truck. But I have I have definitely seen some nice looking Fuzos, and I just like Mitsubishi. So. <laughs> well, I I do too. I mean, but I mean, I don't know. It's just that style. I don't know. It's just weird to me. But I guess they would probably think of our style is weird too. So, probably. You know, it's. Oh, I forgot. I repainted Midnight. <laughs> And I'm going to get kicked for it, because this paint job apparently still isn't supported. Oh yeah, the Christmas one, yeah, that's, yeah. Let, let me just check to make sure real quick, because there wasn't nothing to repaint. Nope, yep, not here. That is so stupid. Zidane has been kicked. That's okay, I don't really like how she looks like this anyway. What what this paint job makes me think of is, um, if a paint job is like, if you swap the trucks... So the colors are all over the place because the color palette doesn't match. Oh yeah. That's what this paint job makes me think of. <laughs> Did you ever look up Cat Bronco? Yeah. Definitely a K1, right? I could see it, yeah. Like her, if you look at the sleeper, you look up a K1 Aerodyne, and you look at the sleeper, you'll never see any other truck. The grill did kind of remind me of a Freightliner. A Freightliner. Like like one of those 80s Freightliners. Freightliners had wide grills. Yeah, I know. I thought it... I remember... I Cat. just watched it and it looked like it had a wide grill. It did not. Just look up a standing image of Highway Cat. Don't watch a video. Ah, uh, got it. Is, is it. It's actually just C-A-T, not K-A-T. Yeah, it's C-A-T. Okay. Uh, yes, there's a repair shop in Rosal. I think the the best thing. Oh that, yeah, no, I see it now. Yeah, yeah that, that that's a K1 Aerodyne. Yeah, <laughs> I mean there is no denying that. The one thing I'm mad that they didn't do that I think was really cool is make um the villain as like a playable character. Yeah, uh, see, oh, yeah, they the did that in the second yeah, one. Can... Oh, was he? Yeah, it it's only on uh, versus mode though. And there, oh, are, wow. there are actually five different villains, so you actually have ten different trucks you can choose from on versus mode. Mad Bull. Now that's a truck I drive. Mad Bull? The, that's the name on the side of Log Hall's truck. Oh, I can never read it. I didn't know yeah, what his truck Mad, was called. It's Mad Bull. Yeah, Pastel I knew Cowboy. I knew all the characters' names, I didn't know the truck's names. <laughs> Asphalt Cowboy, you stole my name! Actually, you stole their name. I think that came out before your series did. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Josh. Well, no, it, it definitely did. It came out in 99. The series came out like a year ago. So. Josh. They stole my name. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm sorry. It was his intellectual property would... before he was even born. Exactly. <laughs> now, I'm sorry. I would have loved it. Because. I wish, I wish somebody could do this, is if they took one of the arcade cabinets, because all it had was a high-low range shifter and then reverse, if somebody was able to modify the game and then wire in an actual 18-speed into that freaking cabinet, that would be so cool. That would be pretty cool. It would definitely change the game a bit. Who cares? That'd be fun. I, was, I meant that in a good it. way. I, I mean, it, no. I I mean, I it would make the game more. Your voice over a microphone sometimes. I'm sorry. Like, oh my god. <laughs> how how do you take? It would definitely change the game a little bit negatively. I don't know. You <laughs> obvi you obviously have more. You obviously have more memories of this than I do. So I don't know what you mean. No, I was you saying. Been like, you could have been like, no, I like it the way it is. Yeah. No, I'm saying it would make it more challenging because you'd actually have to shift through the gears like in a real truck. Exactly. I would have kept. It's no different than doing it with the manual. I mean, it's no different. It was, would be similar to you. Holy shit. What? Christ. Oh, did I just get kicked? Oh, son of a gun. Don't worry, I did too. Well, I tried to make Midnight look more festive, and the game got mad at me. So now she's just purple again. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know no what you mean by it. festive, but I don't feel like I want to know. Oh, sorry, Rusty. Oh, did you never do the Christmas thing? No, I bought the Christmas thing. Oh, okay. You got that paint job? Yeah, yeah the new paint job. Like Christmas paint job. Well, it's not really Christmas either. It's like this abstract. You know, well, I mean, with the red and white, gosh. it kind of looks a little. Yeah, with a little teeth with a bit of silver maybe in the background. I think probably why um that paint job isn't uh supported in multiplayer just because no one wants it. I don't think anyone really likes that paint job other than you. <laughs> well, if you would see, I'm, I have a picture of a single player and like my color scheme was. Yeah, I've seen cool. your color scheme. I still didn't really care for it. It's not bad. I mean, I... I'll tell you what. Your colors definitely look better on that paint job than do on the one you have in your truck right now. Well, but I don't have the design. 